What's up guys? I just bought this new helmet. Because of the ATEX, it was less than half price. It looks alright, but I think we can make it look better. So here's my how to paint the helmet and other stuff. Some things you need. Some cardboard so you don't paint your mom's driveway. A laundry bag. Some green stuff, maybe more. And some colors. I use khaki, deep green and espresso. Make sure they're satin. You don't want a shiny helmet. Phase one. Get some painter's tape and tape all the holes in the helmet. If you want, you can tape your Velcro too. I don't. Make sure to secure the straps with some tape so they are out of the way. Phase two. Sand down everything so the paint has something to grab on. Make sure to clean it afterwards. I also want to paint my GoPro housing, so I taped that too. I drilled some holes in the sides to power it with an external battery. Cut some parts from the laundry bag to use as a stencil. Phase 3. Apply base color. No primer needed. The base color will not end up as your main color later. It will determine the snakeskin detail color. Get the mesh stencil and apply a second darker color. Deep green in my case. I also use some green stuff to create some details. Start blending all three colors together. Use the mesh stencil with some tape on it to create some lines. If you created a part that's too dark, just spray or sprinkle some light colors on top. Use short bursts to blend brown and green together. Sprinkle some more. Press the cap very slightly. If you get a spot that's too bright, just darken it down with some green or brown. Now work your way around the helmet. Try to blend from bright details to dark details. That usually looks the best. To get this worn look, use a lot of brown as the base color and cover it with some khaki, then dub it with some green. Get some brown sprinkle on everything to age it. Notice the distance I'm spraying at. Phase 4. After drying for at least 20 minutes, get some sandpaper and sand down all the edges to get that used look going. Phase 5. You can also give all your accessories a light sprinkle of brown to make them look used. Let's see how everything turned out. 